you are going to create a database in Azure, you should keep in mind for the computer, like computer comes in two versions, provision and serverless. So you should uh, keep in mind for what provision is going to give and what uh, the serverless is going to give so that you can choose in between these two and uh, you can optimize your cost. So here two tires are there, one is provision and in one is serverless. So serverless is uh, not going to allocate a, a server or a, in any instance for you but it will give you shared resources somewhere, whatever the resource you can choose. Here like I want the maximum CPU 1 and the minimum CPU 0 0.5 core. I want uh, maximum 2 CPU allocation, maximum 4 uh, V core CPU and uh, minimum 1 core CPU I want. Or uh, yeah, minimum 1 core. So based on these two selections, based on the two selections, uh, the algorithm will calculate how many minimum memory and how maximum memory will be allocated for you like um, i have selected here one core cpu this will give me three gb minimum memory and the maximum v course is four core so it will give me maximum memory 12 gb this is your the compute engine and the ram so now coming for provision this is serverless you can assign here uh, like at what time you want to stop your uh, database like if I have kept here one hour so after one hour if the database is idle it will pause the database for time t the next request hit the database server and it will again resume to work so here you can see it calculates based on this based on the it calculates the pricing based on the storage and the compute being used so here you can see i have allocated here 32 gb of data and 9.6 gb is log space allocated for me so total is uh, 32 and 9.6 it will be around uh, 41.6 so here the maximum storage is 41.6 so my storage is uh, being billed on cost of 0 0.17 dollar so the total cost will be around uh, 7.8 dollar per month but what about the v course what about the compute compute will be billed uh, compute cost slash uh, v code per v code per second it will be cost around uh, 0 0.000 216 this is for location of singapore this is a singapore based location so it will be built when you think your application is not utilizing that much of database and it's keep it should remain paused for a few times or a long interval like my application is running in daytime and night time i am not using so definitely you can go with the serverless it will give a bit of uh, less cost but when you switch back to the provision provision you have to choose the class which class you want the general purpose scrabble compute uh, and storage optimization hyperscale and business critical and one is dtu purchase model dtu is like if you choose 200 dtus it will give you one p core processor processor and if you go with 300 400 dtus it will allow as the dtu count will be increased uh, the v course uh, count will increase like that but uh, dtu is uh, i think dtu is a bit costlier than this uh, provisioned and serverless that is more costly so in provisioned you can uh, conf you can configure the things here like which version you want to go uh, once you configure, you will be asked here like uh, what are the V core, uh, V core, how much V core you want to allocate. Suppose I allocate four V core and the storage is 32 and 9 GB it's already allocated. So you see the billing. The storage cost will remain constant. The storage cost will remain constant, but the compute engine is being charged to 43 dollar. Apart from this, because this is only compute engine charge. This is only compute engine charge. Apart from this. You have to pay the license, school license cost and all. And total estimated cost per month will be $979. Uh, so if I reduce the V course like uh, I want uh, only two core. So it will be $493, $493 for $1, something like that. If you have your own SQL license, suppose I have selected here. I don't have license, SQL license, server license. If you select here, I think the price will decrease here around uh, this is 344 dollar uh, means this is giving 
as your hybrid benefit discount like 31% cost will be reduced apart, uh, apart from the total bill. Uh, from the total bill, 30, 31% cost will be reduced. How the provision and serverless classes work? Suppose I go with serverless, I want to keep my system down for around, I want to keep my system down till 12 hours. Suppose I have selected here uh, 0.5 core minimum and 1 core maximum. And I want here, like if the system is idle for uh, 3 hours, just pause the system so that i will be not build for uh, build for that time period so here you can see this will be built on this numbers on this numbers let's see how how it count the bills so you can see here in last 24 hour last 24 hour there is no computation being used here so it's showing uh, the database is paused mode so no billing happened here till now but if i see here till seven days I think there are few uh, lines, graphs, lines are there. So at this time period, the CPU is being built. So the app build here for last seven days is uh, 49.8K. That means, let me show here the calculation, how much is built. So I'm opening a duplicate tab here to see the things, uh, to see the pricing, how it charge. So I have opened one new tab here or same thing so i can see the charges cost and storage cost and storage charges i can see here what is the cost being used so the cost is around 256 so i will multiply 49.8 k into this number into this number and the bill will be something like this so the total cost is around 10 point you can see 49.8k this is 49,800 uh, CPU build and uh, the per second billing is this much so my total bill for last seven days is 10 dollar 10.75 dollars so this is my CPU being charged for last seven days so if you if I multiply the same thing same with at least I suppose I take here 20 dollar in last seven days so uh, multiplying by four weeks four weeks it will cost around eighty dollar eighty dollar means in serverless i'm getting my application running with azure sql in eighty dollars of expense in database but if i go for provision it will cost around 394 for uh, 493 for two core cpu and i am not utilizing that full full course i'm not utilizing that much of resource so definitely i should go here for the provision but in case my application is large and uh, i am using a large transactions and i am using a not i'm using a large amount of cpu compute engine and uh, the ram so i definitely should go for provision for, to run the large scale applications so we can optimize the cost optimize the uh, till an extent so you can see here i have selected here serverless because this is a small application as well and it's being built based on the uh, cpu so the cpu is being built with this number 0 0.000216 usd per second per core and i have only allocated one core one v core is maximum and a 0.5 v core is uh, minimum so you can uh, i just shown you uh, one screen where i can see my database is not uh, being used that much like suppose i am using only two percent of the cpu two percent of the cpu so see this how this is built this is uh, seven, on a 13 september it built me 714 and uh, same day it's uh, billed me 5 5k and the total billing if i show here if i total billing i see here like till this date it says like 49.8k in last seven days so this is not that much of resource wastage see here you can uh, see the cpu usage range like 0.0041 percent as the cpu is being used and the cost is yeah uh, obviously i will get the less cost in serverless but 
the serverless is uh, quite uh, expensive when you are going for a large scale application and you are running serverless and your database need to run 24 into 7 in that case the serverless will be more expensive than this uh, provision so keep these points in mind while you are going to choose the database control the bills and uh, you can have good resources in less dollars thanks for watching mm -hmm.